Hello there guys and welcome to a video which will help you now to install a software that I am actually using when I am uh, driving trucks and uh, yeah doing all of those things that you should do when you are tracking. So first thing you need to do is to go to this address and it is www.strider minus it.de slash sim dashboard uh, index.php when you go there you will see this sim dashboard website uh, what is good now about a sim dashboard is that it actually is available for both your android phone and also now for your uh, apple phone your iphone uh, this was not available just a few months ago, but now it is. So, to get started now, we are going to go down. Then you see here a little about the functions and how it looks and everything. So, first thing that we need to do to start off this process is to download the application. So, what you do is that you download this PC application. After you have done that, you uh, install it and then you open up the, uh, the application. Okay. And then to be ready and prepared, you download your Android app here or your iPhone app here. Or you search in the App Store or Google Store. Um, then you install that one also on your uh, device. And then we can actually now move on to the next process. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you here uh, what you can expect from, from uh, this SIM dashboard. So what I do here is I click on community designs. What we see when we come inside here, the, we can actually choose between different kind of uh, games. And it, this community designs that I have clicked on, you can actually see here racing, truck, farming and flight. So there is communities that have actually created this kind of uh, layers here that you actually can download so in this case we're actually going to use this for truck so if we click here now on truck we can see here uh, that we have filtered this one here now on on truck so what we do is that we go down here and we can look here at all the navigations and new scania dashboard renault we have a GPS here. Um, let's say you want to have a unit where you show your GPS. You see this one here, it's like all in one. And there is so many to choose So You can see it's 393 uh, sites. So uh, it's a lot. As you can see here, I have radio, ETA, dash, all information here. Most of the time, all of those that says ETS dashboard here, ETS, they are also compatible with ATS, American Truck Simulator. So here you have another one. Uh, you can choose from so many. And also if you like racing, farming and flight, you can also add those here. So uh, yeah, so let's now move on to the next. okay so here you can see my dashboard how does it look when i'm using my uh, international uh, truck i use this uh, this one and uh, you can have different kind of designs and if you scroll like i did here you can see another one that i'm using uh, this is the GPS version. So if I click on this sign here, see, 
if it wouldn't show up, I can Oh, there, yeah, there it is. Here you can see the designs that I have now. Let's see, I'm driving an older truck. I want to use this one. I use this for my Kenworth. Ken Kenworth 521. So, and I can also use this for my Peter built. So if I double click here, we go full screen. And if I do like this, it will go go back to this page. Yeah, so this is what I'm using. So in your case, you wanted to add now a new design here and get, get starting. So I will show you now how that one works. Okay, so now we come to another fun part. And that is, now we have actually installed the uh, the app on the uh, computer. And what will happen now is that we will open SIM dashboard on our unit. And in this case here, I'm using an Android phone. So when you open up this one first time, what will happen is that he will guide you through to set up and link your device to your computer. And uh, it's not so hard. Uh, it's pretty easy before you were actually forced to do this manually by finding the IP address and so forth but today uh, it is very easy so I will just record now from the screen here to make this one uh, more easy uh, to show you how it works so now you actually see how it looks on the uh, computer on the Windows computer the same dashboard here and uh, as you can see now, if you look here, when you have go through all of the process here to link your unit, you will also need to click on games here. And if you see here, it says green and green under games and configured. That is because uh, the configuration now here is is okay. So let's see if we go down here, and uh, you see it says modify game for telemetry. If I should click this one, these dots here should be automatically green, like it is here. That means that Shin dashboard is setting up this by himself, and that's pretty cool. And after you have uh, set up everything, what will happen here is that your device and IP numbers will show up here. So let's see now. Uh, the unit that I actually showed you was this one. So I can go in here and I can also click on that one and I can test this connection. So, if I'm testing now, you see that the, the device is turned on, the same dash is running on the device and everything. And the device is connected to the same network. And the ping and the connection is okay. That means that everything now is set up and uh, running. So, and this will actually be totally, uh, what is it, totally... Uh, automatic so you don't have to go in here like you did before a manual add device uh, the system will actually do this uh, automatic so that that's how how it works so my games here that is activated right now because i have clicked on modify the telemetry here on American truck. So the configuration now is here. Okay. And if you look here also, you can also see that this one supports a lot of games. So if he will find 
a game that is installed, it will be green here. Okay, he will find it automatically on your system. And then the only thing you need to do is click on this one and then it will turn up like this green green and say configuration is okay so that is all actually you need to do okay so we will do like this i will try to make this one easy we are still here so if you clicked on that one you will see the design that is installed so we will go back here and what we will do, we will click here on this button there first. And I will show you here. Here you can actually also uh, design everything. Yeah, you can like change everything as you wish. And we will not do that one now because that is not what we are after. You can see here now that the menu comes up. So we will just close this one and I will click on that box. Let me see. Then he will say that the design has been saved as you saw there. So to add a new design now, we click up there on those dots and then you see here add an empty design. So if I click on that one now, this one comes up. Okay. So now we are here on the empty design so what you will do is click on that button now you see that the empty design here it comes up then we will click on next button here which is the plus sign to add the design then we click on add widget here and the design what will happen sorry there uh, you will come to this page and the best thing here to do to take one that has already been fixed is to click on community. What will happen here is that it will come up like so many here to, to choose from, as you can see. So let's say just for fun that I like to have this button box here. So I click on, on that one. Then when I'm done, oh, so sorry, my I click on install and now it says downloading here please wait and look at that he is downloading now this uh, this one to the phone and look at this now the design is here and then I just click on this mark there and look at that we are already there if I double click here now let me see. You can see it go full screen. So that is how it works. So now I have also this design in my sim dashboard. And I can change uh, between them like, like I showed you before. Just scroll like this. And uh, that means that you can actually have more units you can use this let's say for this cell phone here i can actually use for uh, the rpm here and see how fast i'm driving and then i can have an, another unit if i want and use that one as a uh, control box like like this so everything that you do here is uh, yeah, you have endless possibilities. So yeah, that is how it how it works. So just to round this one off, just like I said, you can have more units. And if you look here, the one that I showed you there before, that is the Asus. Then I have another unique unit here that shows up at Spark One. That is just a cheap tablet, and then. I'm using that one for, for the GPS. So uh, you can actually do uh, whatever you whatever you like there. And uh, of course, if you want, you can also, as you can see here, you can also go here 
same dashboard allows you to edit your design and browser on your PC so you can do it from there okay so let's start now uh, again from the beginning just do a fast fast uh, replay so first thing that you do is you download the sim dashboard on your computer like I have done here and you install it then you go on your app store and download the sim dashboard for your phone your iPhone or from for your Android phone we have done that open up you open up your uh, your cell phone and this software and what will happen on your cell phone he will actually link everything so your device will actually show up here it will be automatic uh, before you have to manually add devices as I say you can actually do that too but you don't have to do that one no more the only thing you must think about here is that, is that your device and your software on your computer must be on the same network cannot be on other network so to show this one again test connection I clicked on that one as you can see here I, click, I do now here uh, ping test that cell phone now is not on that's why it shows up like this but just to test and go through everything fast it says that the device must be on the same dashboard app is now running on your device and that is this the device on your android phone but that is currently off for me so that this device are now connected to the same network and that is uh, basically how it works so this is very easy to set up easy to start and get going and then of course you go here what will happen is he will find all the games that the sim dashboard support and what you must do here uh, again is that you click on this modify game for telemetry and he will also set up that one automatically and when it's automatic it will says install green and also configured and it will looks like this so if you have any questions please add them in your comments and thank you very much now for watching and uh, thumbs up and i will see you soon again and uh, don't forget to join in on my twitch channel the gamer cowboy online weekly streams and I will see you there okay thank you very much and see you again